Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and our 56 Ford pickup truck build. Um, today I got quite a bit done. Well, to the past couple of days I got quite a bit done. I'm going to start with the bumper. This bumper had no turn signals on it. So right now we're on layer number two using matte Mod Podge. And... I think I'm going to need two more coats to get that to where it looks like a turn signal lens. But it's better than just the flat chrome. It needed those. So I may, I'm working on that. Then I got my engine wired, ran the valve cover or ran the uh, distributor lines down both sides of the valve covers. I also made a throttle return spring. And I'm going to put a video up. The video will be right here if anybody's interested. You can see my valve covers are chrome again. I gave up on what I was trying to do there. It just wasn't going to work out. My starter came out awesome. I mean, that's patting myself on the back for that one. My oil filter, on the other hand, is somewhere in the carpet. And I'll find that in the next 50 years. So there's the engine. The engine bay is going to be black. I painted under the hood with accent acrylic. And the reason why I'm using that is because if I get that on this paint, all I have to do is wipe it off. And you can see I had to wipe it off a few times as I was painting. But it doesn't, it won't mess the paint up like if I was using uh, Tamiya's FX1. That'd get on that paint, it would be over with. So I did, I used it there, I used it under the, the bed, and I used it on my interior and inner wheel wells. Really happy with the way that looks. I'm really, really happy with this burnt orange that came out. Trying to make candy apple red, and it came out burnt orange using that titanium silver. And I think if I would have used um, the uh, metallic gray, or gunmetal, even, it would have gone more into the red than this. But, man, I love it. So, that's where we stand there. Um, I did stipple and pastel my carpet. And I did the same thing for the little section of carpet underneath the uh, dashboard. This is just going to be satin. Not going to really be seen because of the way this sits in there. Uh, my gauges are done as best as I can do gauges, except for the map light. I'm waiting for that silver to dry totally overnight, and then I'm going to use two coats of the uh, Mod Podge on that to give that the light lens look. And I think this is going to be really cool. On the other side of this, I detailed it with a little future here, some silver, I took all the wires and I hit them just with a, uh, a mechanical pencil just to give them a little highlight. And I'm going to put my heater hoses, one here and one here. I did a lot of research. Some of these um, trucks had them. Some of them, they didn't even have the heater hose. I don't know what they did in the winter, but they didn't have them. And here in Northeast Ohio, I'm putting a heater in there. So there is that, my fender, same thing, I highlighted it with that mechanical pencil. This fender had uh, the electric box here, I hit that with Future Floor Wax just to give it a little bit of a, it's not part of the fender look. <laughs> I think it came out pretty good. And the wires again, I hit them with the mechanical pencil just to uh, highlight it a little bit. My door panels, man, they came out good. Look at that. Uh, I love the red with the with the black trim. I hit the uh, crank and the latch with with the chrome pencil, the chrome pen, along with underneath the uh, where the door pull is. And I did that with chrome just because that's a lot of red, and I wanted to break it up just a bit. So there we are. There, my. Um, running boards, I hit them with Future to give them a little bit of a rubber look to them. And then on the raised parts, I'm going to use bare metal foil on there. Um, 
just to give it a little bit of highlight across the sides here. Well, that side, I think that'll look really good. And underneath this, and I left it because I had to, this kit has a mold date of 1982. I know the kit's older than that, so I'm figuring that that's an update or whatever, but I had to leave that on there. That's the year I graduated high school. So there we are with the, the bed. I'm never going to get that line out of there. I thought about putting balsa wood in here, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to I don't want to take away from what the kit was. I mean, that would that line in there is from this this being molded in and I could sand that out and fill it and do all that, but I'm going to lose all that detail that was molded in 35 years ago. So I'm going to leave it alone and we'll we'll just leave it and then I'll put the chrome from the bare metal foil in between and I think it'll look good enough without um, trying to take too much away from the model kit. So uh, that's why I'm going to leave that. Again, I love this black, that flat black in there on the interior with this um, burnt orange. Really, really came out cool. So there we are. There's a lot done for a couple of days to get to this point. But I think right now, oh, the seat. Yeah. I hit it with uh, Future 2 to give it that just armor old look. This is going to be a show truck. I'm not even I'm not even going to dirty this out because eventually I'm going to buy another one of these and paint it that gray that I was talking about before and put this on a trailer going to a show. And the other one, I'm going to dirty up and beat and make holes in it and rust it out because I've wanted to I've wanted to just roach out a car real bad and I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to I've fallen in love with this kit and I want to do another one. So Anyhow, this is where we stand now. From here to being done, we're getting pretty close, believe it or not. Um, all the detail work's pretty much done, except for the assembly. And I don't foresee any problems with the assembly at all, because I've, I've fit this thing together three or four times. But anyhow, here's your kit so far. I'm having a blast. Um, the only thing I, I thought about doing here off the kit was I thought about using different rims, but then I decided against it just because, like I said, just that's what came with it, and I want to just keep it there. But anyhow, I am Mark. This is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies, and I'll be back with a whole lot less pieces on the top of the table and a lot of them put back together again. So stick around, because it only gets better from here.